Morning Bookies! My name is Hannah and today we're doing the December wrap-up and January TBR. So with this obviously being my first wrap-up in TBR, it's probably going to be a little bit rusty and I'm kind of not sure how to do this, but I'm going to try my best! So we're going to start off with the books that I read in December because I'm officially out of my reading slump and I actually read this month, guys, and the books that I hope to be reading next year in January. So let's begin. So I read four books this month. That's about a book a week, which is amazing to me because I have not read that many books in a very long time and I was just going right through them. Um, the way I'm going to show you these to you guys is I'm just going to give you the book and the author and then just move on. Uh, I will tell you the ratings I gave it on Goodreads. You can check out my Goodreads. I'll put everything you need to know down in the description. And so let's go. So the first book I have is The Bear and the Nightingale by Katherine Arden. I finished this in my 24 hour readathon, which I'll put a link for that video down in the description. Also, it's kind of boring, but if you want to check it out, you can go ahead and check it out. Um, I think I gave this book five stars, and I know there's only two tickets in it, which does not sound like a five star book to me, but I couldn't find my tickets for most of the readathon, so hopefully one day I'll just kind of skim through it and put the tickets where I wanted the tickets. I really actually liked this book. It was a little slow at times, but I was never bored when it was slow, which I usually, when it usually gets slow. When books get slow, I usually am just like drop them and move on, but for this one, I just couldn't. So, yeah. The second book I have is probably one of my now favorite books ever. I loved it so much, and I'm so glad that I finally picked it up. It had been sitting on my shelves for who knows how long. It's been a very long time that I've owned this book, and that is A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. Look at all the tags I put in that. It's amazing. I had to give this book a five stars on Goodreads because I really absolutely loved this book so much. It took me quite a while to get through, probably a little more than a week, which would probably make up for the lost time, but I absolutely loved it so much and yeah, I was just very relieved that I finally picked it up because it had been kind of haunting me in the back of my mind where I was like, I should probably read that one day, I've heard good things about it, and then I wouldn't. So this month I was kind of like, I'm going to read Discovery of Witches, I'm in the mood for Discovery of Witches, so I did. The next book I have is Beastly Bones by William Ritter. This is the second book of the Jacobi novel. It's in a four book series now. I didn't know the third and the fourth books came out until just recently. And when I found out about that, I was like, well, geez, I probably should catch up a little bit. So I did. And it's got a little bit of the sequel syndrome or sequel sickness where it's not as good as the first one, but I still didn't hate it. And I'm very, it's very small. So I, I kind of, I read it pretty quick. And so, yeah. And the fourth book that I read this month is Walk on Earth, A Stranger by Ray Carson. I got this book for my birthday. The, the way it worked was... My stepmom decided to randomly buy me a book to make up for a birthday that she missed. So she bought me this book, I requested this book, and it sat on my shelf for a while. I was always like, oh, I really want to read it. I think in one of my past videos, it is in one of the books that I wanted to read or something like that. And it's a little, it's very, I think there's a review on it, but it's very... There's a lot of action, there's a lot of stuff that goes on, but she's got this power, and the power, the book does not revolve around the power, which I somewhat enjoyed, but I also was like, you could have had the power a little bit more involved. So, yeah. Okay, now we will move on to my January TBR. This is a little bit of a risky thing because I'm very much a mood reader. I can't decide books that I'm going to read for the month and then just read them, but I'm going to try that with this month because I think it's about damn time that I start on one of these books, so I'm going to try and do that this month. So the first book I have in the pile, I don't know if it's cheating or not because I've already started this book, but I plan on finishing it next year. I don't really, like, it's late, in, it's late enough in the year that I probably won't finish it in the next couple days, 
and that is Winter Song by S.J. Jones. I don't have a bookmark in it, which is horrible. How do I know what page I'm on? So I started reading this book on in the readathon. I was listening to the audio, audio, audible audio book, and I absolutely loved it. But lately, I just haven't had the time to read. Only a little bit at night if I don't just fall right asleep. So this book is taking me a little longer just because I'm trying to catch up on some stuff. Like I've been getting up early for work and going to bed late. So it's really kicking my butt. So I've been sleeping a lot and haven't had much time to finish reading this book. And I'm sure I won't get it done until next year. So I might include this in my January wrap up instead of my December wrap up because I'm not that far into it yet. But this is about a girl and the Goblin King which should just be enough because when I heard about it, I absolutely fell in love. I love The Labyrinth of David Bowie. I love it so much that when someone was like, oh, well, it's about the Goblin King, I immediately was like, I've got to get this book. So I did. I bought it for myself. So I'm going to show the next two books together because they are two books of the same series, and that is Like a River Glorious and Into the Bright Unknown by Ray Carson. This is the second and third book of the... Walk on Earth a Stranger series, which, like, I got these for Christmas, again, I requested these for Christmas, and I was very excited to get them, so hopefully I can just finish the whole series, I think it's a trilogy, just, I can just finish it very quickly and get it done and over with. So, yeah. Also, it's kind of like the, um, it's kind of like the Darkest Minds series, where it's the Darkest Minds Never Fade Into the Afterlight, where the three books make up a sentence. So this one says, walk on earth a stranger like a river glorious into the bright unknown. And that's that's pretty cool. I honestly didn't make that connection until I had the books all together. And I was like, well, that's kind of weird. And I was like, well, it's got to make sense now. So the fourth and final book I'm going to start next month, next year, is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. I've decided I've waited enough on this. I should just read it. And then I have Lord of Shadows waiting for it in like the wings so if I finish this and I love this I can immediately get Laura Shadows so I might end up finishing just five books next month but as of right now I'm just sticking with four. So like I said before I'm very much of a mood reader and I don't know if I'll actually read any of these books but you can bet I'm going to try my hardest. I'm going to try so hard to at least read one of the books that I've selected for this month. But I also am in the mood to kind of reread something, so that's kind of a problem currently. So currently, I'm just kind of winging it. This is why it's a TBR to be read, and I'm going to try my hardest. I promise I will get one done. At least one. I'll get one finished and just be like, I finished one book on my January TBR, and if that doesn't work, then shame on me. But I'm going to try my best. I know I'm going to finish Winter Song, so at least that's one of them. So I'm going to up it a little bit and say at least two. It could be Lady Midnight or Like a River Glorious. It's one of those. So that is it for this December wrap-up and January TBR. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, this is my very first wrap-up and TBR video. So if you guys have any like advice to give me, or things you think I should change then please share them in the comments I'm always open for you know nice words of like suggestions so thank you very much for joining me I will see you guys in the next one rock on hey guys I'm Emma at Headgab Books and today me and my sister who are going to meet in just a few seconds we are doing the siblings time